Hey guys, Iceface here, and today we're playing Valor Legends once again. Now, in today's video, guys, I'm going to be doing another hero guide. And this time it's going to be none the less than the Forest King, Lionel. So, Lionel is my first hero that I fully maxed out on this game. Uh, you can obtain him via VIP. You can get forest shards for him. There's events where you can get him. There is many ways to get this superhero. So Lionel is a tank. Now, most people tier list him as good at PvP, but not one of the best, right? So I kind of feel the same about it. Um, what I will say is that there, in my opinion, is no better PvE tank than Lionel. He is super, super strong. So just a basic overview. He's got his giant axe, Justice. He waves the giant axe in circles, dealing up to, as you can see, 140% of attack. Health restoration is increased to 40% of attack when he is maxed out. Rage of the Lion King. So he's going to taunt and it's going to reduce their damage by 30%. Fortitude is going to increase attack by 30% and HP by 20% when maxed. And Unyielding. So this is like the revive, you know, he's invincible for three seconds and his HP is healed by 20%. This goes up to 40% of max HP and shield duration is increased to five seconds. So he's going to regain 40% HP and he's got a shield for 20, for, for, um, sorry, for five seconds. So that is like a, uh, a revive system. This is why you don't put heroes such as Diana's skill on him because he's already got his own self revive with the skill unyielding. Exclusive weapon is the Battle Axe of Heaven. And invincible shield duration is increased to six seconds. So an extra second, which is actually really, really good. I believe anyway. Because that's an extra second where you're gonna he's gonna be tanking for longer and you might be able to get an extra skill cycle off, dealing more and more damage, and of course up to that 20 is going to be immune to control during casting and at 10 it raises his defense to 20 percent which is actually really really nice this is the equipment i've got on him right now i don't have the forest ring the runes i have him in so i have the defending room uh it's not the best bonus attributes i haven't been focusing too much on the runes for my tanks because I've been doing it on Celia, etc. And then we've got the Asylum Rune, which is HP and attack, and it gains a shield of 10% of the max HP for 10 seconds at the beginning of the battle. So at the beginning of the fight, he's going to gain a shield instantly, which is quite nice. Um, we can get that up to 16% for 10 seconds, which is, you know, pretty decent. So I feel like everyone should try to prioritize getting Lionel. Um, you don't exactly have to max him all the way up, but getting him to 11 star, for example, should be a pretty keen to do priority. Now, I wouldn't put all your eggs in one basket with Lionel, as in I would get him to there and then work on other heroes and you will slowly get Lionel shards as you go, especially if you are spending, because I believe the VIP... So yeah, at VIP 12, you get two Lionel Shards. At 11, you get two. At nine, you get one. Oh, wrong button, sorry. And I think that is all of them. Oh no, seven, you get one. And I believe that is it. So yeah, you can gain quite a few through VIP if you are spending. So if you're a spender, I wouldn't prioritize on getting the Lionels from the wish list, etc. If you are planning to spend quite a lot, because you will pick them up from the VIP if you do the adequate spending in the time given. So this kingdom, this badge event is one in which you can also get Lionel shards too, or the fragments, sorry. So you can get a whole Lionel for 25, 50, 75. Very obtainable as a free to play once again, because we calculate you can get 220 or 240 medals total. And as you can see here, you only need 150, which in turn is the same price as a red rune. So I think if you're more free to play an early game, going for the Lionel is pretty good. 
it's a pretty good trade off to make. Now, Lionel can be used in different ways. Um, if you don't have like a tanking assassin and you don't have a tanking priest, you can always put him at the back. But predominantly, he's going to be on that front row taking all the hits. And I will show you him here. If you guys do not have my Lionel, of course, mine is maxed except the equipment and the runes, but he is maxed um, tier. So he's awakened to the fullest, which is, I believe, 16 star. So you can see he did his HP heal then. Now he's spinning and gaining more HP. We won't win this round, but you can see him in the action. And he did last for quite a long time, which is really, really good and important as a PvE tank. Because, you, of course, you want them to last as long as they can and take away the damage from your damage dealers. Now, I've spoke about it before, guys, but in terms of PvP, this is how I form up. I put Lionel at the back to tank the tank to tank the assassins so if the assassins jump he's got them in this corner Celia can pump into all of them with her skills and of course Terence is going to be there doing his AoE skills and so is Ramiel and he will be able to withstand quite a few hits from the enemy assassins he isn't going to die straight away he's not squidgy he hasn't got the PV best PvP toolkit but he's definitely got more than enough to be able to withstand for a certain amount of time. Um, when If you outscale people anyway, then it's not too much of a big deal. But overall, I personally rank Lionel as strongly as I rank Terence. If not stronger, he's a definite 10 out of 10 or 11 out of 10 S++ tier for the Forest King right here. The forest faction in itself is a very, very strong faction. And Lionel is definitely the king of that faction for me. He's just a go-to tank. Like As you can see in terms of my tanks, I've got Lionel and then I've got Cardline, who isn't at the same level as Lionel. But Cardline's more PvP orientated, of course. But Lionel, I will use him for the whole duration of playing this game. He is definitely one you should prioritise getting. Like 150. He was my first hero up to 11 star. And that's saying something. He was a brute. Like he helped me progress so quickly. The same as Terence. Both of them. I like to call them a wombo combo. Especially early on. Dealing amazing damage. And just. You know. He's a physical brute. Like he does good damage. Considering he is a pure tank. Like he will deal some pretty decent damage too and not only that aesthetically he is pretty cool looking you know you've got this big lion with the white stripes pretty cool yeah so if you guys was thinking about maxing Lionel out or getting hold of a Lionel I definitely recommend it you will not be making a wrong choice by getting this hero so I hope you've enjoyed today's video guys do like if you have enjoyed subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to never miss out on our daily uploads and hero guides so that being said, I will see you all on the next one. Peace out, everybody.